Tesla has been rolling out their version 9 software to the fleet uh, beyond the testers and a lot of people are you know getting it exploring it and uh, giving it very honest feedback I have to say that uh, in my group I have over what 30,000 members right now on Facebook um, the Tesla owners group the feedback hasn't been uh, very good. There's a lot of disappointing things, but there are some people that are you know really excited about some of the features that did come out. So we're gonna go over them. I'll tell you what the concerns are and uh, what some good points are as well. Um, then also Model Three has some really good news as well. As you know, every time we talk about Model Three, it's been pretty good. And Faraday Future is in the news again and. Once again, we're questioning their future. I don't know how they keep screwing up. Well, I do know how they keep screwing up. So I'll tell you what 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 I think it is. Uh, also, two comments of the day today. Uh, so let's get let's get going. Welcome to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting the show. We're also uh, going to do the extra mile. This is the segment that I do after um, I, I cut the recording that I normally uh, uh, do for the YouTube. So if you want to support uh, me, watch me live and support the show, patreon.com slash e4 electric and of course if this is your first time here welcome there's a lot of things going on in the world of electric cars and i keep you updated on all of it all you have to do is actually click on the subscribe button it's free and that way you won't miss anything moving forward all right let's talk about this uh update this is one of the screenshots for the model 3 um this is the new version 9 that people has been waiting for a long time for almost two years um the first uh, and i'm not gonna lie it looks like i was looking forward to it as well and a lot of people look like they're already um disappointed or annoyed with some of the features or the lack of we already knew that the biggest feature that elon promised which was the self-driving feature um was not included in this update uh, he he promises that it will be coming up uh, at some point I think what I've heard a lot the frustration about the uh, split screen especially from the Model S and Model X that you no longer can do split screen essentially the the map is your sort of background if you will and then you can kind of uh, slide over I think 30 to 50 percent or 70 percent uh, of whatever other app you want and a lot of people uh, did not care for that they wanted two different apps that are not maps uh, on there and so they're, they're having a hard time with that um, I think also the biggest disappointment so far has been the dash cam and we already knew it was really limited uh, you know it looked like it was going to be uh, autopilot 2.0 and up uh, looks like to be only the front uh, camera and you have to really kind of hack it and use your own USB device and create folders in there and all that stuff well people found out that um, it's not for just uh, two, version 2.0 and up I, some people are saying it's 2.1 and in some cases 2.5 version really so that's that's really narrowed it down to a relatively small number of people um and you know as we remember elon said if 2.5 uh uh, the the 2.0 hardware or software wasn't good enough. They were going to upgrade the computers and everything to 2.5 version uh, for free. I would say this is the first time it looks like they are not up to par. Um, I don't really know. I, I personally don't even know 1.0 version. Uh, people like me, what? Why can't we get the dash cam? Uh, a feature we have the camera we have the software computer and 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 yet it's not going to be available also people are finding out that there's only up to 60 minutes worth of recording uh, for those of us who have dash cams now we know that that's not an, you know good enough sometimes things happen when you are not in the car um, and you want to find out what it is sometimes something happens and then you don't get home until two hours later um, and if there is an accident you have to go you know to a hospital or whatever by the time you get to your footage it's gone over written well 60 seconds 60 minutes is just not enough a lot of people are having a hard time with that um you can also no longer have your backup camera on a lot on all times so a lot of people have been using that feature because of the uh, back seats being so high and the window you know it's a hatchback for model s especially are is so narrow that a lot of people have been using that features they're actually not happy with that it looks like uh, air conditioning uh, the the auto settings are no longer working the same as before they're not as flexible i have not experienced that so i don't know really know exactly what what particular issue is people are also having problems Problems with live traffic maps that are you know not always coming on and sometimes you can't really see the lines are too thin um, oh and a lot of people don't know how to activate their app sharing uh, on their phone where you can kind of uh, you know say oh I like this address I need to enter it into uh, my nav uh, you have to go into the setting uh, feature there 
different clicks you should you know there's some um there's some tutorials there now uh, we uh, activate that and only then tesla app kind of shows up as as a source uh, or the destination for for the address to be shared um so and there are others you can join my group on many other group you see people are uh, being relatively unhappy i have to say with these features of course some are saying listen we didn't have these features before now we do so what are you complaining about they're not as good as the uh, maybe we've been promised but they are here. Um, of course, a lot of people with dash cam saying, listen, my dash, cam, this, the, I don't need this feature if it's not going to be as good as my dash cam that I have right now where I can go, you know, buy for 50 or 60 bucks, which is true, a $50 dash cam can do a better job than that, that this feature right now. But uh, hopefully this is something for Tesla to work on. Hopefully they will improve on this. Um, again, I myself have not even gotten this and I'm already not looking forward to it because I do want some features um, that it looks like are going away. But one feature from what I understand is good is the fact that once again, you're going to have a menu uh, uh, displayed at all times. You will need to click somewhere in order for that menu to be presented. So that is finally there. And I really hated them changing that. So now it's back. So I really like that. All right. Uh, let's talk about the Model 3 now. Before that, of course, I want to let you guys know that uh, this uh, channel, this uh, show is sponsored by Climate Exchange. And um, they are actually a pretty cool nonprofit organization. Um, they uh, are having a raffle. They're raffling off, uh, raffling off three different Teslas and they're only selling 4,000 tickets. So essentially your chances are one and less than 1,400, which I would say pretty damn good. The tickets are $250, but at the same time, the chances of winning a Tesla are pretty damn good. And even if you don't, you're still, by purchasing that purchasing the ticket, you're uh, supporting uh, their mission to move all of us uh, towards a low carbon economy. And this is for US only. There is a link in the description of this video for you guys to enter the raffle. All right, so let's move on to the next story. And actually, let's talk about Fair to Future first, because you know, at the end of last year, as we know, they got an eject of cash up to two billion dollars over the next three years uh you know they they kind of uh, uh went on with uh, with making all the necessary contracts with suppliers and you know build out their factory and now they produce the very first production prototype things and and we're ready to produce the car by the end of the year which is still their claim but apparently there's a report uh, uh by the verge i believe and a few other publications picked it up that they've spent their first injection of $800 million in back in July. And they're asking for additional $700 million to continue going. Um, the current investor is also accusing them, and this is a big deal, of uh, breaking the uh, uh, the investor deals that they've committed to a while back. So that's not good. Um, vendors have not been paid. Uh, a lot of them are being delayed by more than one month at this point. Uh, uh, some vendors apparently have not even been paid from this, the launch of the CES in 2017, which has al always been two years now. Um, so, so some real bad stuff going on. Um, oh, and there are people reporting that their, their prototype, the only production prototype, got caught on fire. Uh, nobody knows the extent of the damage, but nevertheless, that happens. So we don't know if it's functional anymore or whatever. But all of this is not good news. But however, you know, and I I don't know why when the company, when, when their current investor injected all of this money, why they stuck around, they, they let, they kept the, the you know, uh, his name is uh, JY. He's uh, the, this as a CEO. He's already in trouble in China. As a matter of fact, he lives here in the United States because he's been pretty much blacklisted in China because of all of the financial problems he had uh, looks like he's at it again i'm not really sure why the investors expected him to change his behavior i think in, as long as they have him as the ceo um things are not going to go well um things like this will continue happening i don't know what the resolution is i don't know how the hell you burn through 800 million dollars without letting your investors know and saying oops we need you know 700 million dollars more uh, but at least at this point they really need to get rid of this guy to to to, to have a future I, I believe that's now my opinion um because I thought, that, you know, maybe they keep it on a short leash now and he's changed. No, apparently not. So I'm going to keep my eye on this story, but unfortunately it might turn sad again. But let's now move on to the Model 3. And this has been a big success story. Um, this is a chart for... Um, 
And this is the uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration that conducted all the tests. Tesla Model 3 got uh, five stars all across uh, the all categories and subcategories. And now they're saying that uh, Tesla Model 3 is the has the lowest probability of having their passengers injured. Um, and the uh, second and third place belongs to Model S and Model X, which once again raises the question for those of us who did pay more money for our Model S and Model X cars, why are they not better than the Model 3? And I think this is where at some point people will not be buying Model S and Model X cars um, as, as much because, hey, you know, we won the features that are in the lower priced models and then some. That's why you pay more money. So as somebody who does not really probably going to go for the Model 3 unless I can get my hands over on a $35,000 version with incentives left still. Um, I obviously think my Model S is a much better car. I might be switching to e-tron next year, as I told you guys, but um, great news for the Model 3 uh, owners and all Tesla owners, but they got to do something about keeping the Model S and Model X up to par. Um, so, by the way, if you have a Model 3, Model S, Model X, if you're a Tesla owner, let me know if you got into the update, the latest version 9 upgrade. Um, and let me know what your thoughts about that uh, are. Uh, let me uh, thank a couple of new Patreons, by the way. Uh, thank you to Martin Moestel, uh, becoming, a, becoming a Patreon, and uh, Santa's Collection was already a Patreon, already, you know, contributing double than the highest tier, and now they double that one more time. $20 a month, I really appreciate it, really, really appreciate it. You know, as you guys know, I'm a full-time YouTuber, so this is the money for me to kind of survive on uh, and be able to still travel, and like I'm traveling this week, starting tomorrow night. So thank you so much. If you want to watch me live, that's the biggest benefit, and uh, we also, I also do the um, extra mile segment uh, just for the Patreons. Go ahead to patreon.com slash e4electric and subscribe. But let's move on to the comment of the day, and there are two of them. Uh, today, uh, both of them have some, something to do with the video that I released yesterday. I know I maybe ha I didn't really phrase it well. I, you know, I was talking about my stolen uh, referral code, which really was stolen uh, was the referral itself. Uh, but nevertheless, there are a couple of comments about that. Um, uh, and, and, you know, I was just trying to figure out what the solution could be, how Tesla can do a better job making sure that their own employees are not stealing referrals uh, because people like me, like, I don't know who's using my referral code. So if some employee wants to, you know, Tesla employee wants to use theirs and earn an extra $4,500 worth of, you know, Tesla merchandise, I will never know. So um, this user, <coughs> whose username I can't even figure out how to pronounce, uh, says, uh, uh, on the order or received or bill of sale, there should be name of whom the referral is from, so you as a buyer can know it is an easy fix. Well, yes, but at the same time, there's still no communication back to the uh, uh, the referral to to, to to the referring party, like like myself, right? Like I I'm, I might have given out the, given out a referral code to people. Some of them just get it from the description of my videos where I still keep keep it. But uh, at the same time, you know, if 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 your paperwork does not say that it's me but it says that someone else you may not notice and obviously i'll never know i think the real fix is for the tesla employees never ever ever being able to enter the actual code themselves or alter it it can only be undone online only by the future owner of the car and i think that's all the only way how it should work um now the another comment of the day also has to do with it he says so why didn't you report this to the ag okay so i'm assuming to tesla so um the reason i didn't report it because i needed that uh sale to uh get to my five so i could attend the semi truck event my whole point of participating uh in tesla program was not to get the prices but to go to the unveiling of the semi truck so i could report it to you guys to me Tesla has always treated me like crap. Well, you know, starting from the communications department and many times their survey, just in general, I have, as you probably know, have not had a good uh, go around at, uh, with Tesla. There were some good experiences, but they were mainly because there were some just uh, uh, people that I was lucky enough to meet and they were, you know, helping me out. So me going to Tesla was not going to be another good experience for me, I felt. And the fastest way was just do, to deal directly with the guy who stole it and tell him, hey, listen, you need to fix it, which he did. And I got my referral uh, uh, and, I, and I, you know, marched right on. Um, let Tesla deal with it themselves. They obviously know that the system is flawed. Um, I think there are quite a few other people are abusing it right in front of their, you know, noses and they're okay with it. So 
I'm gonna let them deal with it until more people are not okay with it, you know. Um, it's just, I guess, my issue, but um, that's, that's my answer to that question. I will still be going live tomorrow from my studio, but Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will actually be going live straight to YouTube because I'll be in Los Angeles, so I'll be conducting the news from there. Um, all right, guys, that's pretty much it for today. See you tomorrow, and of course, remember to stay charged. Thank <laughs> you.